In this lesson, we're going to look at settings you may want to choose when starting Inflow. When Inflow first opened, you might have noticed the program asking you for your home currency and whether or not you'd like to use descriptions. If you change your mind later, you can always access your settings from the main menu under Options, Settings. We're going to start by entering company information. From here, you can upload a logo, add your company name, address, and contact details. These company details will show on printed documents like your sales and purchase orders. In our case, the company name is ABC Toys, and since address details have been added to the settings, they show on our sales order. In Inflow, you can choose to describe your product by its name or code only, or to include a longer description if you like. If you want to include descriptions, choose to describe products by item name code and description. The description field will show on the product record, as well as on sales orders and purchase orders. In Settings, you can also choose to track inventory by location only, or by breaking down into sublocations. For example, you might have a few warehouses or retail locations, and sublocations could be bins where products are stored in each of these places. Clicking Manage Inventory Locations lets you add or remove locations as well as choose a default location. In Inflow, a star represents the default choice, so in this case, clicking a star beside a location makes it the preferred or default location. Setting up locations will mean you can specify which location receives products on a purchase order and which location to take inventory from for a sales order. You can also see locations where an individual product is stored by viewing that product record. Settings also lets you choose your home currency from the list. If you're buying and selling in other currencies, you can set up exchange rates here. But it's also possible to change this right from the order since exchange rates are constantly changing. Here you can also select which costing method you'd like to use. The costing method will change how Inflow tracks your product costs. Now we'll be digging into costing in a future lesson, but to give you a quick idea of how this works, if you use Moving Average, FIFO, or LIFO, Inflow will automatically update costs for you based on your purchase orders. You can choose Manual if you'd like to update costs yourself. You might want different prices for different customers. For example, you might have your normal price, your wholesale price, or your Canadian price. You can name these schemes here and you can choose your default scheme using the star. Once you create a new pricing scheme, you'll see another space on your product record to enter that price. On the sales order, you can select which pricing scheme to apply to the order. For example, in this case, I'm creating an order for a wholesale customer, so I want to use my wholesale prices. You may need to charge different taxes for different types of products or according to the region your customer is in. To set up your taxes, click Manage Taxing Schemes in the Settings window, then enter a taxing scheme name. This is the name you'll choose to use a particular taxing scheme on an order. Add a tax name, such as GST. 
This is what will appear on your other documents like invoices and receipts. Next, enter the percentage for your tax. You can also choose to apply tax to your shipping fees based on your area. To the right, you'll see an example of what would be calculated if applied to a subtotal of $100. Inflow lets you have several taxing schemes. And you can choose a default, then choose the appropriate scheme on your order. If some products are taxed differently, you can control that by choosing some products are taxed differently than others. This will create a button on the product record so that you can control tax for that product. For example, you might have items that don't get taxed while other items on the same sales or purchase order will need to be taxed. We can exclude this item from taxes by selecting non-taxable for our GST taxing scheme. That way, even if you're using the GST taxing scheme on this order, this product won't be taxed. When tax codes are on, Inflow will show a tax column in your order window. This shows us which products are taxable and which aren't or have special tax rates. Click in the tax column to see which tax rate is being applied to that product. Finally, you can choose how you'd like to measure your products in the settings window too. These units will match the measurements on the extra info tab of the product record. Adding weight and dimensions to products will allow Inflow to estimate the weight and volume of sales order or purchase orders for you as well. Thanks for joining us as we explored Inflow settings. Now that we've done an overview, try diving in and adjusting your own Inflow settings.